What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here in the kitchen. Time to eat your fruits and vegetables. All right, so I picked up two cutters here and, or they're called wedger slice or something like this. And I picked this up. This, this one comes in a variety of forms, including just a metal handle, um, as well as kind of a, just a plastic handle around here. So obviously this one's a little bit of a hybrid, but what I liked about it is that it's kind of got these big wings, these big arms on it, so I can get a nice purchase on it. This green part here is like a silicone or a rubber. And you know, it's pretty nice, uh, decent, robust plastic on here. Uh, because definitely I've had these in the past where use them enough and the, the cheaper plastic ones can break and the blades can come out. Now, what you can see here is that this is made for things with a core. And so I want to demo it ultimately on an apple here because it's the um, the type of fruit or vegetable that you want to use this on is something that has a core that you don't want to slice up that you kind of want to discard. And obviously with these radial blades here, it'll cut right through. Now, if we flip it over here, you can see that they are kind of sharpened. You can see that they have an edge on them, like right there. Might not be the easiest thing to see, but they aren't just uh, thin metal, thin sheet metal. They are sharpened on that edge. So it should cut pretty nicely. Now, the other one I picked up here is this vegetable fruit wedger. And the reason I picked this one up is because it does not have that center space for a core. And there's a lot of things that you want to cut up and use the whole uh, piece of you know, fruit or vegetable because it doesn't have really a core that you need to discard in the same way. So obviously you can see here, this is much bigger, much bigger than this one for my fruits. And so you're gonna have more capability with it. It does come with, actually it's really nicely made. It comes with this little base with these little pie cuts here so that the blade will fit in there, rest in there. Uh, be nice and safe so you don't have to worry about anything. It has a little silicone band here at the end so it won't slide around if we kind of move it around. And then here again, uh, you know, pretty big robust plastic there so I don't feel like it's uh, weak or chintzy or anything like that. And again, silicone grips on the other side here so we can get a uh, nice grip on both sides. But as you can see here, we have the blades going straight across and you can you might be able to see here, not only are they blades, but they're angled and they're also serrated a little bit. So that's kind of interesting. These things should really cut in there. You can see this middle cross blade there has even a, a tip to kind of start, start it and kind of um, hold it in center. Now I picked this up because things like this, like this uh, orange, don't really have a big core and so I just want to cut right down the middle cut them into slices just like we used to have at uh, timeouts and halftime and soccer games and I think this would be perfect for the orange and this would be perfect for the apple so let's uh, give these a try here so I've got my apple set up I'm going to kind of center the circle over where I know the core is just like this and we will go ahead and push down and all right, all the way through. Now I will say, if you have a really big apple, like the green ones, one of those Granny Smiths, this might not actually be big enough to get around it because this was just kind of big enough for this one. I think this is a Honeycrisp, but look at that, man. Uh, didn't quite get all the way through, so I could kind of grab this and, and work it through. Okay, I can kind of just pull them up. But look at that. I get nice, ready to eat apple slices. All the cores are removed, and in fact, you get the core in a nice uh, cylinder here that I can just throw away. Almost no wasted fruit on it. Maybe right there, and I just ate it. All right, that's awesome. I'm impressed with that. Okay, now the orange here, and again, this is its axis, so I'm gonna just kind of line it up here with the center, and because it has a little tip on that blade, I'm just gonna put it right on there. And again, let's see if we can cut this up into a nice, um, oh, I get it, I get it. This isn't, this base isn't for just storing the the uh, the item, it's actually for centering it and holding it because the blades, because they're angled, aren't flush with the bottom. And so you're gonna wanna put it here so that you can push all the way through. It's actually kind of a nice improvement over this. All right, let's go ahead and cut through. It means you're gonna wanna line up those blades, obviously with the, the, the receiver slots and looks like we're through and I'm just gonna make sure I'm lined up with the whole yep and press all the way down oops what I realize here is that my wings aren't over the the openings here there we go don't be like me be smarter than me and look at that ready to eat fruit slices 
just like that. Didn't have to take a knife, uh, cut this up, start the, the skin or the peeling of it. You know, I can just get right into it. Mmm. Mmm. Awesome. So, I will put links to both of these fruit vegetable slicers in the description below, but I love it, man. Peter Mon Panda, out. Thank <laughs> you.